Hi everyone, I'm Claire and yes, I'm getting into the Christmas spirit and hopefully getting you into it as well. I'm a bit early, but why deprive ourselves of joy? I thought we'd also celebrate the ever-growing international collaborations in space by showing you how to make an astronaut paper chain. For this craft you're going to need some A4 paper, a pencil, scissors and coloured pens or pencils. First we're going to need to make our chain of astronauts. Take a piece of A4 paper and cut it in half long ways. Then fold that in half. In half again. And then one final fold. Now to draw on our astronaut outline. Make sure the fold is on the right hand side and then draw on half your astronaut. Make sure the arms and legs go all the way to the edge. Then cut your half an astronaut shape out. Unfold it and you have your astronauts. Now to decorate our astronauts. To help you choose which astronauts to draw, we have some collectible astronaut cards you can download from our website. I have chosen to start with two astronauts who took part in the historic handshake in space between the United States and the Soviet Union. Six years after Apollo 11 landed on the moon, Apollo Soyuz was the first international space mission and marked the end of the space race. The astronauts who took part in that famous handshake were American astronaut Thomas Stafford and Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov. So I'm drawing on the American flag and the Soviet Union flag. I pre warn you, I'm not very good at drawing faces. Having lost the race to the moon, the Soviet Union decided to focus on learning to live in low Earth orbit, building the first space station, Salyut 1, and then the Mir space station. Mir was visited by American space shuttles and various European astronauts, becoming home to our very first British astronaut, Helen Sharp. She's going to join our paper chain of astronauts, and I'm going to draw on the so called spacesuit. Then developing from the experience of Mir, we saw the largest human spaceflight engineering project in history, the International Space Station. Built by 15 nations, it has been visited by over 200 people from 18 different countries. I've chosen to do one of my favourite astronauts and the first Canadian to command the ISS, Chris Hadfield. I also just really wanted to draw his moustache. But of course you can choose any astronauts you like. I don't think it looks Christmassy enough yet. I think they're missing some sand hats or maybe some reindeer antlers. If you want to try something a bit different, why not try a festive wreath of astronauts? Draw a circle on another piece of paper. You can draw around a bowl or a plate. Fold it in half four times. Draw on your astronaut shape. Cut it out. Unfold it. And you have a snowflake made up of astronauts. Hopefully now you're in the Christmas spirit. I'm gonna keep adding astronauts to my paper chain. I can't wait to see who you've chosen. Keep your eyes peeled for more Christmas crafts. Uh, I think one of them is just permanently bent school with. Oh, I see what you mean. Does it look bad though? No. I don't want to look silly <laughs> with a bonky antler.
still look good. Yeah. Fab.